I've been using the Mini 3 for a couple of months now. It is a workhorse with plenty of features. Most of them work very well. It also has the ability to shoot vertical videos and photos. A feature that makes it the ideal tool for users involved in social media like Instagram, TikTok or YouTube Shorts. After the release I was very disappointed with the quality of the footage, but after countless firmware upgrades things have progressively changed. So in this video I will analyze the video quality of this ultralight DJI drone after two months of use. With the Mini 3 it is possible to use two different color modes, normal and decent alike. Normal is the pre-processed one, in theory ready to use even without any post-processing. For video I always use manual white balance and I suggest doing so, otherwise color shift might appear when the luminosity changes. In normal light conditions I set the white balance between 5500 and 6000 and these values yield good results with most drones and cameras. But with Mini 3, with the same values, I used to get an unpleasant yellowish brownish tobacco like cast. It was not easy to get rid of it, as the files don't respond very well to color grading, especially for the white balance. But after experimenting, I have found that the white balance of around 5000 gives much better results. The footage still needs a boost in contrast and saturation, but the results are excellent after some color grading. Let's watch a few more. By turning the camera down for top-down shots, we take the sky out of the equation. The dynamic range is very low and we can concentrate on detail and color rendition. The amount of detail is good, even though not mind-blowing, and the color rendition is very pleasant. In easy light conditions, normal color mode works now very well, even though I would not consider it ready to use rather the sensor, as it needs some color grading to really shine. Moving to high dynamic range situations, we start to get issues. In this scene the dynamic range is not that high and I managed to lift the shadows for a decent result, although not on par with the R2S, the Mavic 3 or the Hotel Nano Plus. In this scene the sun is on the left of the frame at sunset. The best we can do is try to get the best possible structure of the sky and leave the ground as a silhouette. If we try to recover the shadows we get very little info and plenty of chromatic noise. With other models I also do some tests with the full sun on the screen, but in the case of the Mini 3 it's better to avoid it, as it would be embarrassing. 
Another possibility would be to let the sky go totally overexposed and prioritize the elements on the ground. It works, but it's not really an approach that I like. Generally, a flatter color profile like this in a like is better suited for high dynamic range situations. We will analyze it later on in this video. This in a like is a flatter profile meant for serious post processing. A few weeks after the release, a firmware update added 10 bit color space instead of the original 8 bit, which is excellent as it offers a much wider choice of color shades and prevents color banding and other artifacts. Low light footage with the first iteration of the Mini 3 was a total disaster, at least with my unit, well, actually, two units, as I've already destroyed one. All we could see was simply black, which is not the name of a rock band. Let's see if things have improved. There have certainly been big improvements, but for night footage, the Mini 3 is still miles behind the competition. The shadows are still crushed, although not as much as before. There is also a noticeable amount of noise in the sea and in the sky. The issue I had with this in a like when I first started with it was due to the shadows. They appeared to be completely crushed and extremely dark. There was no way to recover them as they contain very little info. Some users agreed with my analysis, while others said that for them it worked fine. So please let me know in the comment your experience with it. And don't forget to hit the like button if you find this video interesting. Apparently the issue was caused by the color space of the Mini 3, especially with some specific video editors, including Premiere Pro. To cut a long story short, after several firmware updates, things look slightly better, at least in easy light conditions. With this in a light, the use of LUTs is needed. Every time a new drone is released, we need to find a LUT that makes the most of it. With the Mini 3 Pro, I'm still experimenting. And dialing in the right color is certainly not as easy as with the Air 2S or the Mavic 3. But even if the quality of the footage has improved, with this in a like, the shadows are still way too dark. Obviously, I could turn up the shadow slider, but that involved losing a good deal of contrast and the structure of the sky suffers badly. Even in top-down shots, where the dynamic range is extremely low, the shadows are way too dark if we want to maintain a decent contrast. As I said earlier, this in a like should be the mode to use in high dynamic range situations, but as you can see, the results are even worse than with normal mode. One interesting fact to consider is that photography with the Mini 3 has no issue of this kind at all. The same goes for master shots and hyperlapses. I will post a link to my videos about photography and hyperlapses with the Mini 3 at the end of this one and in the description below. This means that it's not a problem due to the camera or the lens, but rather a software issue that can be fixed by update. For the moment I prefer to use normal mode only. One of the main selling points of the Mini 3 is the ability to shoot footage in vertical format. This is ideal for the growing number of users who are involved in social media platforms like Instagram, TikTok and YouTube Shorts. There is practically no competition for this segment. 
Before the firmware updates, the issue with Crush Shadows in vertical video was even more evident than with regular one. But the good news is that now vertical video works really well. No issue whatsoever with Shadows anymore. Even night footage is excellent. Click on this link to watch my videos about photography and hyperlapses with the Mini 3. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video. Thank you.